Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. What inspired, you gonna run out of this shit? What inspired girls from Dallas? I used to think that you was innocent. I invited you up to my suite. We would just chill, smoke, and talk. All uh, girls from Dallas. Hey, I just, man, to be honest, I just want to, when it's, when it's time to, like, really talk about certain shit, I just want to show, like, you know, and I'm really, I'm doing my best trying to be humble. I, I'm really at my best right now. It's basically, I'm just at my best completely in all facets of life, period. And I just want to just really just show that shit, just to be honest. But I couldn't be there if it weren't for my people. Yeah, you know, my yeah, people make me feel everything. strong. Hell yeah, yeah, you know team what I'm saying. Is, I team got, means a lot. People make me feel real strong, man. And and then you know, before it, the music comes out, they got to pass the test. They got to pass the test of your your, your people. So it, that right there, and just everybody been so excited. Like damn, man, like, you know mm -hmm. that shit been making me feel. Oh, oh yeah, y'all. Yeah. All right, I don't tell it, me I can whoop it. him. Yeah, 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 you tell yeah. me that shit, I'm going I'm to for sure with him. You think about it, man. Like, you've had some conversations with some greats, man. You, mm -hmm. you, you, and, you and Greg Street built a, a, a rapport, you know. Yeah. You see, yeah, he, you know, uh, have he, have you, fit, did he listen to the album yet? Yeah. Uh, uh, some of the songs. Some of the songs, but I will, I'm going to give him a link here soon. But pause. I'm going to give him action at hearing the howl so, <laughs> you something else man yeah man. but um that's my that's my dog man he always a big supporter and he he got a big hand in what i got coming up next too but, yeah uh, we got to get together for sure for crowns 12 before i even do that on that you you, you basically uh like i was saying you talked uh, greg greg street always always rock with your music yeah. uh you talked if you did a trip to me and you talked about because we partners mm -hmm. you went somewhere and did some kind of with uh, Bing. project with Bing. yeah shout out to homie Bing. shout out to yeah. Bing, man Bing, Bing. how was that and that was great man virginia beach uh going out there and then just working with the biggest producers in the game some of the biggest producers in the game which i have been fortunate to do uh, we got a project coming scheduled for around October but um it sounds incredible big big and you know um his catalog magnificent it's one of the tops in the game I ain't gonna bullshit you and uh you know devil in a new dress Kanye West Santorini Grease uh Rick Ross you know just um man we could be here all day like he's real uh the rulers back Jay-Z uh, big. He three got he got three four tracks on Blueprint. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, um, some of the biggest in the game. One nine hundred hustler, like the biggest in the the biggest Rockefeller day songs. Like he one of them guys, the ones they bring about the who takes them, uh, certain artists to that real real high level, and uh, just real grateful that we was able to link wow. and get out there and to spin. Uh, you know, just I flew out there. We we got in the lab. We cooked up. We got some shit that's real huge, real like crazy big, bigger than what they think. You see what I'm saying? This one might throw you. I think I seen LL or somebody trip off of Andre 3000's flute album. Mm -hmm. I don't know uh, if he trip. Did, what did you think about? Uh, I didn't hear the flute album. You didn't listen to it. No, I didn't. I didn't either. Right. I'm into this hip hop and, right. and it's crazy. Uh, you know. But my boy Faison said he listened to it and he loved it. You know, certain people that just love it. You know right. what I'm saying? Because they, they, you know. When you're an artist, man, you ain't got to explain shit, man. You ain't got to explain why you do what you do, man. You just do what you do. And when you feel like doing something, but you can't be moved by the crowd. I learned that. I learned that. Like, you can't let the crowd determine. And even when you even start entertaining the crowd too much, that's like the, that's when you turn the hourglass over. You might as well, why you finna clock out. You can't let them control you, man, because they're going to lead you astray. They don't know. It's just like what Steve Jobs said about when, uh, if I would have told you I'm going to give you a phone and that bitch wasn't even going to have no buttons on it, that bitch going to be, I ain't glad you wouldn't have took it. Sometimes I got to just give you what I want to give you and you decide. Then we just, I think a lot of times we paralyze ourselves with fear by uh, not just doing what we feel in our heart and we look for validation before we show something. So you telling somebody something, they can't see what you're saying and all they can do is say that that ain't smarter or tell you why it ain't gonna work. You know what I mean? It's, it's very hard to even to encourage somebody when you can't really see what it is. That's why it's up on the, upon the person to just do what you wanna do. We don't know what that flute album will be, what it is now, cause I don't know and what it's gonna be 
you know, years you from know. now, you know what I'm saying? They might say he ahead of the curve. You know, we a herd mentality. We want to all do the same shit and all that shit. Let me ask you this. Uh, when you think about just the future of uh, where, where hip hop is now, do you, and, and this is just kind of a universal question, like, mm -hmm. how, how do you feel it, it is now compared to? It's in you? the best spot it's ever been. It's in the best. There's a lot of variety. Um, there's definitely a lot of mimicry, a lot of imitation, but the real gonna always rise to the top and the real always never have nothing to fear. When you're speaking from your real heart and doing it based on what you really love, what you really love, you know God ain't gonna fail you. How, you know it's a it's a chase, man, to keep that same like like people see you on, they see you with the big chains, they see you with the big cars, and you turn around and you see like you see uh, what's that boy that Kingston boy and he Sean done, Sean he done Kingston. yeah Sean Kingston got caught up in some fraud and they got him and they charged him and and I thought back to when you was talking about how. It's, it, he looked very different standing in that courtroom in that brown like that versus yeah. seeing him hey, on let, a daily let, basis. Let me, right? let me, and they arrested his mom, too. I got to say this. This is something like I've been dying to tell somebody this. You really made this. You made, man, the scams, right? Yeah. No, I ain't even speaking on Sean King's. Man, I've never been able to finish and complete one of them scams and get my breath. Every time it's time for the scam, I can't ever get it. When it's the PPP and I, when they were started talking, you know, you go through your phase of being scared and then you like you see a couple people here for some bread. And so it's like, I'm thinking I'm ready for my, you know. So I put in for, man, they told me I was pre-approved for a hundred and something thousand. So I done already started spending the money, right, in my head. Man, when it came time, they talking about it was some type of, a couple of different clearance things or whatever that I needed. And then, I just, long story short, I never got the money. I didn't get the $100,000. It's been all kind of other scams going on. Every it wasn't meant for you, because. And look, I tell Kiki that. Damn, Key, man, I, I'm just, and then you know I ain't telling him beforehand. You tell him after it don't work. <laughs> yeah, when it don't work. Damn, man, I tried to, you know. And um, at the end of the day, man, what's for you, you gonna get, but I, I ain't gonna. Tell, I'm not gonna sit up in line and say I ain't try. Cause it, I just, say, it ain't just never went down for me. Cause I always said life is a big lesson that needs to be learned, yeah. and um, that wasn't any lessons for you to learn. You understand what I mean? To Apparently, go through that situation, but the people who I know actually, that they, and they saying appreciate the journey, and I gotta right. appreciate my. But I don't mind a little boost. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if they, and, but I have never, I have never received no boost because some people who get it end up going to jail because of it. Because all, all of those. If scams. you go to jail and you and you, hey man, we we done been we done paid a major price. We done been over here. Grandma and them was enslaved and all that. Hey, I'm not scared. Y'all y'all was hitting them tax licks and and all of that type of stuff. I just was never able to receive the the lick. Right. And and because of that, now I have been told by Key and others, uh, 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 you know, Greg and others. Hey man, the, that's a blessing that you yours gonna be when you as you as you receiving yours, yours gonna be around. You gonna you gonna enjoy yours much better. Hey man, but I I think I still could enjoy it if y'all would have gave me a seventeen or a free eighteen thousand, unexpected eighteen thousand, because you done gave them your social security number. Then they were talking about the social security number. I'd be like, man, I don't give a damn about my social security number running. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.